Hey guys, in this video, I will be doing a couple of things. At the end of this video, I'll be doing a little bit of a share from this classical rhetoric through structure and style. Also a little bit of a share from this element of fiction writing, um, these two books, Plot and Scene and Structure. Um, that's based on a request that I got recently. Now, I did want to say that I do have three other books from that, but these two she absolutely love. I also want to share a little bit um, about my rabbit hole down the pro gym style of writing and why it is I found myself down that alley. <laughs> um, so my, my, I have been looking into writing for all of my kids because I do, I am not, that is not necessarily a strong point of mine, but I do want them to have a good grasp on writing. And I also recognize that they all write differently. Sorry if you heard that, that's the alarm, my alarm went off. Go figure. But anyway, um, so I, I found myself down the rabbit hole of the pro gym system because my, we were doing the writing rhetoric. We had started that curriculum, I believe it's in the fourth grade. I believe so, either the fourth grade or the sixth grade, one or the two. But she really, really enjoys this writing rhetoric curriculum. We are currently doing book five and either in um, at the end, after this video or before this video, I will be doing a quick flip through of this writing rhetoric book five. But she really enjoyed that style of writing. So it took me down the rabbit hole of trying to understand what this style of writing is. To kind of shorten the whole thing up, you know, my my takeaway is that this whole understanding of rhetoric um, and this classical style of writing, the whole rhetoric system is understanding human behavior and trying to influence, I guess, people through your writing. And that's it in a nutshell. That's what I come away with. However, the style of writing, it's very structured, extremely structured. And uh, at least my daughter who is in the eighth grade, who I'm probably more concerned with at this period because she's on the doorstep of high school, she is a natural writer. So even though she loves this classical style of writing, because now she has a good grasp of the entire program system and I'll share some other resources that we found that actually incorporates all of the program um, elements as opposed to focusing on just individual elements like writing rhetoric. There's an alternative to this is classical, converse, I think it's classical conversations, I believe is what it's called, by, you can get it through Memorial Press. It's basically the same thing, just each level is about $30 more because they have the DVD or um, video option so it's 90 something dollars for for each level but it's basically broken down each stage of the program system is broken down and they really drill it through you know like several practice activities but anyway our intention was to continue with writing rhetoric but because of recent um, research and because going to college is something that she's you know, we're really taken into consideration. I have recent convictions, uh, well, and concerns is the word, of using that in high school. So as much as she loves it, we will not be continuing with that. And I want to mention that again, because I'm pretty certain in a previous video, I mentioned that we were committed to this and it's not, I, so I didn't want to mention that. It's not that we don't like the curriculum anymore. It's because, you know, I don't want it to be a hindrance later on. So that led me to finding other resources that instead of focusing on just one aspect, since we were only on level, like the fifth out of maybe 14, 14 or so, and there's just not enough time, other resources that can incorporate all of it. Now, this was something that I found. Now, granted, this is actually recommended for grades, if you go on IEW's website, it's recommended for grades 9 to 12. But if you look at their little map here, which is something that I realized um, the other day that they actually do have on their website available to print, 
if you look at where it's recommended it's actually at you know grade 11 or 12 so because now she has an understanding of the project system i'm thinking that this might be something that i add with something else and have her do as an elective probably after the eighth grade before the ninth grade or the beginning of ninth grade and we are going to or she is going to explore different you know like writing styles so she would have come away understanding the classical style of writing but moving into high school i will not keep her i guess the word that, that i'm looking for is boxed in to this structured style she understand it understands it hopefully there are takeaways that she'll be able to take with her as she explores other styles of writing hopefully i made myself clear enough with that but this is something that she would probably do as an elective all right so now i'll go through or do a quick flip through of some of the books mentioned in this video starting with this classical rhetoric through structure and style by iew and it is based off of the poor gymnasmata classical writing style um, and it does follow the iew nine structural model um so it's an, a, a nine unit kind of system i have not done their iew teaching course but i have watched a couple of their free videos over the last couple of years it's something that i'm back and forth thinking about um now even more so for my younger two realizing how structured it is it may actually be beneficial for them you know even all the way through the the, um, the upper levels but anyway so it's based on their nine unit system and you have some of the elements of pro gymnasium where they pull some classical whether it's pieces or writings that is going to further i guess give them little activities or assignments to do based on those podium podium um elements right and some of these i'm a little bit familiar with because we uh we have done some of them using writing rhetoric all right so after the first 13 lessons there is a review i realize there is not a review after the last lesson lesson 31 however there is an answer so here you have dedication to well to the author's wife then a note to students and a note to parents or teachers and all of the lessons sometimes one lesson at a time or multiple lessons have this model graded check sheet where or check sheet where you assign marks based on different elements presentation mechanics style tools sentence openers dress ups rhetoric and i believe that this would be part of their like how their structure for their other writing um books is is um is structured and then you have a a grading scheme at the bottom there right and i'm only assuming that this is something that's common within the i iw system because of how much it is spread through here um, but if i'm wrong please correct me on that all right so then you have the first lesson so unit one which looks at note taking and it from the pro gym system it is looking at career and you have they have the objectives that they have to do then they have source text and all of the source text that they would need for this book is in here they don't need to have any additional books to do this and it has a little bit of a definition of what a career is right now this book is not going to go in depth in teaching them pro gym all of the elements of pro gym nasmata however you know like here or there there's a few terms um defined then they have the assignment right what they are assigned to do then they go in to their structural tools and they're first going to do an outline and as you can see they got it started for them at the bottom there is where they're going to start working on the elements of style based on their system and this is what they're going to be doing in this first unit right so if i were to go to unit three that looks at narration or narration that is another element of pro gym 
nasmata, right? Or progym nasma progym nasmata, <laughs> right? So as you can see, the source text it's a lot longer, a little bit more complex, and that is a pattern as it goes through the book. Because as I said, this is recommended for high school. Then they have their assignment and then structural tools. And in this one, they actually give them an, like an example of an outline. And then again, they're going to be working on a different element of style. This one, you know, using strong boobs. Right, and that is the pattern throughout. I need to go through too many. And this is another one. A source text. And as you can see, it really does get a little bit more complex because it continues to the back here. In this assignment, they are told what they have to do, but they have to actually do the outline themselves based on the source text you have your check sheet and as you can see with this one this check sheet is actually going to be used for three different lessons so and what I've noticed is if the lessons are basically addressing the same things the check sheet combines multiple lessons let me see if I can find one where the check sheet is just one lesson I'm trying not to show too much of the book because it is really not um, a big book. Here we want that one. And as you can see, for lesson 26, this is what the check sheet looks like, and it's just for this lesson. This one, lesson 26. I'm trying to, I'm just going back to see the unit or the element of progen that lesson 26 is looking at. And it is thesis, confirmation, and reputation. So basically, um, arguing through, <laughs> through writing, right? And this one is Hamlet. If they have their objective, their source text, their assignment, and even though, of course, the source text is shorter, you know, I, you know, like a, like a, a lot of those really classical books by Shakespeare, um, a little bit more challenging to read and understand, right? So this one is based off of Hamlet. You have the assignment, the structural tools that they would be looking at in this exercise and then the elements of style that they are going to be working through. And then you have the check sheet. And then at the back, it has the answer key right here, so that that is going to help you as a parent or teacher with checking their work. Um, again, it does have a free download of like a student notebook. Hi guys, as I was recording this video, I had time to call IEW to ask about the free download for the student resource packet or student resource notebook, sorry. And unfortunately, it is something that they have discontinued. Um, the girl said that it was an optional resource, um, but it's no longer offered for free. If it is, you have their premium membership. It comes as part of the membership and it's now called the student packet student resource packet which actually has a bit more than their um, original student resource notebook now if you wanted to just purchase it outright this would be it right here um, but to be transparent because I purchased the book I did call to find out about the student resource notebook that was listed on this blue page here and the girl gave me that information and because I guess I purchased it, they did offer me their premium membership for free for three months. So that's how I got access to it and I was able to print out a copy for myself. So I just wanted to be transparent with that. But if it's something that you wanted to purchase, this is what it would be here. Of course, they have different other you know, combinations, but this is it here. 
and if you wanted to see a sample of it they do have 16 pages with the table of contents as well available on their website but it actually has quite a few you know goodies in there especially if you have a child that is truly into writing or if it's something that it, i think it can even help you if that's a skill that you're trying to work on um so it does have quite a few um good tips in there that is not limited to just the iw program all right so just wanted to let you know that in case you was looking into this book and you you know you was looking forward to getting access to this free download so now let me do a quick flip through of the other two books all right so out of these elements of fiction writing books these two i feel comfortable with my daughter using these she have been using to help her with a project that she is working on that day and they have helped her quite a bit there are three other books in the series but i don't feel comfortable putting these up on my youtube channel especially the table of contents for this characters and viewpoint just because you know i want my channel to always be family friendly um so i will try to link the um, table of contents that is freely available to you know look up on Amazon for yourself um, but just in case you have maybe a high schooler or even a middle schooler that reads you know quite a bit higher than their grade or reading level these might actually you know work out really well all right so I will show the table of contents and then a few other pages so hopefully that will help you out